Yo. Hi. How you doing? Who's that? You new around here? Planet Earth. But I'm also fairly certain this is my third life reincarnated. <laughs> Who is she? To be honest, now that my lower back tattoo is completely gone. Oh, it's uh, Sassy's daughter. Gotcha. <laughs> kind of like her mom a little bit. Ooh. Does Rebecca know about their little fling? Here comes the biscuits train. Choo choo. <laughs> Sassy Spur. All right. That's love, That's man. Yeah. Oh, here you go, boss. My daughter. Oh, okay. <laughs> a receptionist. Is she mine? Dead. We had sex like six months ago. Right, 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 right. If memory serves, you finished on. <laughs> <laughs> reason to get into the science of it all, in front of the, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Rebecca knows. <laughs> the way he stopped and said, "Is it mine?" <clears throat> and I say, "Hey, don't finish, don't finish. Let me, let me just keep <laughs> watching and keep my gutter mind." myself what do you say we do what the man says and make today our masterpiece yeah okay did he talk like that the whole time it was wow. fabulous <laughs> did he not do the cookies right this time he is my best shot far away yes so you've got coventry city this weekend where you're heavily mm. favored you think this will end your team's embarrassing streak of draws for real Boy, they I need a win about having streaks in my draws it's all part of growing up Right, well. Trent Krim, the independent. All right, Trent, make like Dunstan Union and bring it on, baby. Hmm. Turn of the prodigal son, Jamie Tart, will impact that. So For real. Vibe. Mm. Well, I don't think so, Trent. Yeah, I believe that Jamie's on a path to becoming a better man, and I'm just here to help him along that journey. True. This is about to be awkward. Look at you. Oh, I mean. Wow. Okay, Sam. Like compliments. <laughs> Ugly people? <laughs> <laughs> Boy. I can't wait to see he's up in a tube station. It's the only way they know he's a footballer. Anyways, man. Um... <laughs> <laughs> hey, like Ted said, you burnt a lot of bridges on your way out of here, man. I mean, it makes you feel sad for him a little bit because, like, he's that outsider now that wants to, like, join in the joke. And, man, the side eye everybody gave him. Maybe you deserve that a little bit. Okay, fellas. Got a big game this weekend. What we yes, sir. At? Very physical. Okay, all right. Anything else? Borderline violent. Did you mind if I say something, please? Uh-oh, give Jamie the floor. I know I wasn't the greatest teammate. I did some shitty things. I said some shitty things. But I want each and every one of you to know that I'm truly sorry and I'm ready wow. to do whatever it takes to make it up to you. Yeah. Wow. You hit on my mom in front of my dad. Shit. Very big uh, frat boy activity right there. <clears throat> now, what I want to know, is this genuine from Jamie? Because obviously, Jamie has been growing on all of us so far. I just want to know if this is genuine or not, because let's give him a chance. I know you, but I don't like you. <laughs> Good apologies. Way to get the ball rolling. Okay, come on, guys. Let's go. Here we go now. Sam is like, mm. Okay. I told you, boss man. I brought you here. We played that contest of who could fit the most little sandwiches in their mouth. <laughs> yeah, that was a while ago. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, silly, isn't it? No, not at all. Wrong spot. Oh, just making sure you're not going to disappear for another six Fuck. <laughs> She's joking, right? <laughs> okay, I can let that. We've all had enough of this amuse bouche. Time to move on to the main course. Wow. Hey, just do me a favor. Don't try to do too much out there, all right? Know what you mean, coach? I'm still yet to believe if this is fully genuine. Genuine. Okay, Sam. Hey, while you're off filming your little TV show, some things changed around here. <laughs> Let's go. Don't bring that wick rubbish my way. Thank you, Roy. I love her. I wonder what story Sam will go through this season. Oh. Mm. I mean, he didn't know. So is from the modern line. Her parents were cancelled. <laughs> What's happening with you, John? I dumped him. Yes, she did. Is that what I said? No. You're right about what you said. 
So what now? Gorgeous reconnecting with Nora. And I had all these things organized, loads of activities. She's not interested in any of it. How about you ask her what she wants to do? No? Like, ask her where she wants to go. And I think that would be more fun. Because I love Rebecca being, you know, trying to connect with the six years she's lost, like going to all their favorite spots. But <laughs> it's just funny to see that um, everywhere they go, she's like years ahead of that. So, yeah, probably ask her. I'm sure she got some ideas. Or probably Roy got some ideas. We'll see. Do you fancy watching a scary movie together? Sounds fun. I'll be right down. Great. All day and just join me for meetings and stuff. It could be tremendously boring. <laughs> that would be amazing. Ever since you started doing it. I'll be down in a second. That's huge right there. I mean, with that scene, I believe she didn't only just like take Roy's advice and crack the code. Uh, a part of me still believes that, um, you know, she keeps, Rebecca keeps getting benefits from her being the new owner of this club that she didn't expect because she got into the ownership for the wrong reasons to make fucking devil Rupert uh, mad. But I mean, her, nie her niece, not her niece, but uh, she telling her like, I wanted to like know more about football clubs since you started doing it. I feel like that's just a beautiful moment of another reward for her doing this is someone that looks up to her, fancies that sort of thing because of her. Because she said, ever since you started doing it. So I I love that. I love that. Standing, welcome aboard. And uh, Miss Wilton, I received your email. And once again, your suggestion fixed everything. I mean, brilliant, as always. What are you talking about? I'm just trying to make you look good. <laughs> Shit! I didn't Kaylee. <laughs> No, you're not going to be here. Sometimes I use your office. We had a change of plans. Keely, this is Nora, head of marketing. And Bestie. I downloaded Banter last night. Had a boy. I deleted it immediately. Besides, I am. Uh, Jane and I took a big step forward in our relationship this weekend. We are now sharing an iCloud account. Ooh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I'm going to buy the whole team PS5s. They'll fucking love me. Yeah, but, you know, some folks might also consider that buying affection. Mm. Touche. I love that even as Jamie is progressing, he wouldn't become this great person overnight. You know, there's still some traces of the bullshittery and the assholery in there. Just a, just a touch. <laughs> Same way in season one, like I didn't expect Rebecca to just fully get over the grudge she has for Rupert and the team just because good things started happening. It took a while, so... <laughs> Jamie is funny. I think it's time for these young fellas to meet that guy. Led Tasso. Sam, how nice to see you. I apologize for interrupting. No, please. Sam, this is my goddaughter, Nora. Nora, this is Sam. Sam Obisanya. Hi, Sam Obisanya. She's a fan. I'd like to pull out of my campaign with Dubai Air. Mm. Uh, what? Why? Destroying Nigeria's environment and at the same time, bribing government officials to look the other way. Mm -hmm. I can't be the face of one of their subsidiaries. Keely, I'm really sorry. I know how hard you worked for this. It's OK. Good choice. Of course, you don't have to do it, Sam. We'll take care of it. That's so good, though. Sam is standing on, you know, principles and moral. I love that. Because, <clears throat> yeah, the campaign can be uh, fruitful, like financially and whatnot, but it's like they have some their hands in some nasty dealings and him being the face of that will not just like represent the kind of man he is and also you know his country and stuff like that my country and stuff like that so i love that for sam i mean any scene with that kid i just like love him more and more which i can say that about most characters in this show honestly but is this lead <laughs> Now listen up, you little turd birds. Practice starts at 11 o'clock. If you are not stretched five minutes early, then you are 45 minutes late. Yes, coach. Wow, they're taking him seriously. But let me tell you this right now. The day we stop doing things the right way means we are one day closer to doing everything the wrong way. Preach. So, what? 
he just turned into a shitty coach. Our players, Sam Obisanya, no longer wishes to participate in a Dubai Air ad campaign, and I was hoping you'd be able to make that go away without much fuss. And that won't be a problem. Get rid of Obisanya. Hell no. Jekyll and Hyde thing you got going on, but just leave it out, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I'm not okay. ready to. Practice is cancelled. How long was I here? Doesn't matter. You're back now. Okay. Well, that was interesting. For real. Yeah, this is just like the time I got in trouble for chewing gum in the bathroom. You got in trouble for chewing gum? No, I was smoking, but I don't want to lecture. Sometimes you have to do the right thing, even if you lose. Go, Nora. Yes. <laughs> Actually, Sam just quit the Dubai Air gig, so I'm scrambling a bit. That's stupid of him. I don't know how to let team know I'm cool now. It's just really fucking with me, Ed. Walk with me. I love how he always comes to her for guidance. It's like they're holding on to some silly grudge. I mean, silly I grudge? And, unlike me, she actually gets paid to listen to you complain. That's the definition of go get help. <laughs> I care about you, but I don't have the facilities or the knowledge or the funds to uh, give you proper advice. So I'm going to show you to this wonderful woman over here that has all the background and all the facilities and the funds to genuinely help you. Shows she cares a whole bunch about him. <laughs> I love that. I've been waiting for uh, Dr. Sharon. Shannon? Um, for Doc to have a conversation with Ted. Not just a conversation, like an actual session. Because uh, I think that's really going to help Ted. And Jamie, too. Like, I didn't see that one coming. But, yes, it is needed. Because Jamie got some deep, deep, deep trauma, bro. Like, obviously, it's not an excuse. But helps understand why he's uh, quite dickish. Sit here and blabber on and on about myself. Basically. <laughs> Basically. Daphne, my love. Sincerely, boss ass bitch. Sincerely, boss ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Saturday, we have a massive afternoon of action for you today. A Chelsea hard man, Roy Kent. Welcome, Roy. <laughs> well said. Roy, say something, man. <laughs> Any thoughts, Roy? Mm. Jamie Ty is a muppet. Oh, Nora's at the game too. Standing on business. I mean, it had me thinking, why did the dude even say he didn't want uh, Adosani on the team? Just because he refused the campaign? Or is there some other reason that they're not uh, going to get into? Because I just thought that was shitty. Like, leave homie on the team. <gasps> Daddy! I thought you weren't coming back till Sunday. What? Oh, Sam, you did the right thing, my boy. That's a statement right there. I mean, he's going to get fined, but f*** it. No, no, Dubai Air is owned by a horrible company. One that has turned the southern coast of Nigeria, my home. Mm-hmm. I can no longer wear their name on my chest. Everyone else going to do it? Give me the tape, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole team getting fined. That's big family behavior right there. Hey, listen, I'd not expect you all to do this. From me to tape. <laughs> Jamie and Ty. What do you think you're doing? Retainment, man. Mm -hmm. It's Arlo White here with Chris Powell. Today, Coventry City taking yeah. on the home team, AFC Richmond. Oh, yeah with eight straight draw but i think that stance they made in the locker room is gonna mean something yeah. for the game Cheers. everybody but well, that's gonna make the news it's gonna make the news for sure oh lord don't get me started with people who say shit like just play the game uh we don't care about your politics shut the f up and get out of here Get out of here. Yeah, talk your shit. Stand on your morals and your principles. Like, regardless of whatever goes on, like, you're going to get fined. You're going to pay the fine. But, like, you're making a statement. You're making a protest to whoever powers that be. Like, 
Yeah, because obviously we see this in real life all the time. They'll tell you, shut up and dribble, shut up and play, because to some of these people, you're just an avatar for their own enjoyment or just a tool, like you're an athlete, this or that. Talk your shit, man. Talk your shit. Yay. I love this. What a way to bring the team together too, man. Boss ass <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Keep your chin up, Sam. I think what Sam and the team did today was courageous. I I've never needed to have that kind of courage. Trent Krim, the independent. Sam, do you think that your protest may have distracted the team tonight and led to the loss? Mm -mm. I'm not here to talk about football. I'm here to ask the Nigerian government to put an end to decades of environmental destruction caused by cerithium oil. Mm. Are you openly accusing the Nigerian government of corruption? Yes, I am. As a Nigerian, I will tell you the government is corrupt. But honestly, that shouldn't be any uh, fuel or ammo for any racist asshole or xenophobic person to condemn the whole country of Nigeria or the whole continent of Africa. I mean, which governing body out there isn't uh, corrupt? Um, so yeah, I fuck with what Sam did. I stand with him. Yeah, the <laughs> politics over there is, it, it's what. But again, where isn't it? Again, that should not be used as freaking gasoline to racism and xenophobia and all that nonsense. I mean, <laughs> not to point fingers, but i live in america so yeah our uh politics here is um <laughs> nothing to smile about shout out to sam man shout out to sam that was beautiful and they lost again this show is just different in a way where like it never uh goes the like fairy tale route you know what i'm saying um shit happens and they all roll with the punches like the wonderful adults that they're written as in this show i think that's one of the reasons i and i'm sure a lot of a lot of you watching ted lasso love the show it's like of course they lost the game um i don't think it has too much to do with the protest but again people on the other side are gonna use that as ammunition that uh they weren't focusing on football hence the loss but they stood on business they stood on their principles and just love to see it I just hope the rest of the team is not upset with me. Mm -hmm. Hey, doing the right thing is never the wrong thing. We are celebrating. But we lost. Yeah, but we broke the tie streak. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. A toast to Sam, who did something incredible tonight. Little Nigerian prick stole my thunder. <laughs> wow, Jamie is really here. To Sam. Oh, to Sam. Sam. It's good to have you back. Yeah, it's good to be back, bro. That was a beautiful episode. Oh, look at the pictures. That is Sassy's dream right there. <laughs> that is her dream right there. <laughs> that was a that was that was a beautiful episode. I love the focus on Sam standing on business, and I love how this episode was kind of split between um Sam and Jamie. You know what I'm saying? Jamie on his uh, redemption arc. You know, when you have seen someone just be a dick way too many times and um, they start to show some sights of change, it's it's very hard to like jump on board immediately just because like all you have, all you've ever known with them was the fuckery, you know? So it took some time, but like Jamie... I would have loved to see Jamie's um, conversation with a therapist. Um, seems like it's something he really enjoyed because he loves to talk about himself. But I'm sure she gave him a lot of like insightful uh, tools that he used. And uh, Nora being in this episode was just freaking amazing. Freaking love Nora. I love that uh, her relationship with her godmother is being mended. And... One of you on YouTube told me a lot about uh, Hannah. 
uh, the character that plays Jessica and her real life, um, like struggle to have a child and how she recently got one and just how she talked about this show was the best thing that ever kind of ever happened to her because this show gave her like a lot of range to show how good she was as an actor and how she was never not always casted and stuff because she's like 6'3 and this like you know beautiful strong woman and like she was always didn't fit the part um and it just made me love hannah so much uh but also love who she's playing in this show so much uh rebecca um which i mean it brought me back to the episode of the baby thing with uh rupert like him telling her like he's having a baby with this other young uh missus man felt for her so heavy but i just wanted to share that and yeah this episode was all around great y'all keep telling me ted lasso only gets better with each season and trust me i freaking believe you i freaking believe you everything is just it's just lovely all the stands all the messages in here like they resonate um they resonate heavily thank you for watching i will catch you on episode four peace out all right episode four of ted lasso this season has been going wonderfully and you know seeing jamie back last episode as well as everything that happened with um sam standing on business with his principles and all that was it was lovely to see it was lovely to see uh every new character they seem to add to the cast just turns out to be great and last episode was uh nora which is uh sassy's daughter it was great seeing her so i look forward to some other new characters and how our existing characters develop let's check out episode four <laughs> Coach Santa, Captain. Any real us approach? Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Say approach. Nate, is this a photo of you and me after our first win? Yeah. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Aww. Possibility. Hope they get a win, man. We'll finally have more wins than losses. Oh, they have had wins. Jane and I are going to a pagan Christmas ritual at Stonehenge. What? Before you two broke up? We did, but we got the tickets before we broke up, so we're going as friends. Hmm, oh, that's gonna be, uh... Hey, boss, let me get you a drink, yeah? Oh, yes, thank you. How you spend the rest of Santa's birthday? Elton John. Whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> Damn. Hold me closer, tiny dancer, prancer, and vixen. <laughs> Hosting an open house for players who don't have family in town. Oh, so man, that's so sweet. About, uh, two... It's really nice. Merry Christmas, Keela. Merry Christmas. How you doing, Jamie? What can I help you with? Um, have you got anything that I could give as a present in here? Chickens, look alive. Huh! What's in there? Mally. Look at all of them helping Jamie out. God bless me. Mr. Toe. <clears throat> oh, she ready. She should not be there. Texted you. My sister got called to surgery, so Phoebe's got to spend sexy Christmas with us. Oh, right. Okay. Phoebe, we we'll all have fun together, yeah? Please just leave me alone. Apparently Aww. she's been like this all week. Won't talk about it. Holy f shit, you look incredible. <laughs> she was waiting for you to look. <laughs> What's up, Gus? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Talk to the people, Gus. This is Gus with his chubby belly. We call him chubs around here. Merry Christmas and welcome to our home. Oh, Aww. hello. Oh, hey. Sam. Sorry, I know I'm early, but I was in a neighborhood and I really need to use the restroom. Oh, yeah, because he don't have family here. To hold us off until dinner, we have mince pies, cheese and crackers, pigs and blankets, mulled wine, all the favorites. <laughs> so, uh, Sam, back home, what does Christmas make you think of? Colonization. <laughs> And they always eat jollof rice and goat meat. So, yes, I'm sir. Oh. But I use chicken. Yo, people in America sleep on goat meat. Like, 
that's probably my favorite meat like when i do eat meat like goat meat i mean it just tastes like beef but like way better but yeah people sleep on goat meat over here i'm 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 flabbergasted like they they really do the only time i can actually have goat meat here is if i go to like an indian or like nepali restaurant or i go to like a nigerian or african restaurant or i make it at home but it's like y'all sleep on goat meat crazy crazy all right let's see what we got here did you wrap these yourself because this is very well done oh, i think it is hold on here oh wait a minute is this a tiny dartboard or did i become a giant no it's a mini dart. dad you got me a drone i know how irresponsible is that of me <laughs> can i try it out now heck yeah, yeah inside the house the oh boy okay whoa, whoa whoa be careful sorry dad he's just so excited <laughs> Oh, that's okay. I get it. <laughs> How is she doing? Oh, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, go have fun. And, mm. and send me photos, okay? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Dad. Mm, I'm sure he's missing the f*** out of them. Listen, Phoebe. Problems, they're like mushrooms, yeah? The longer you leave them in the dark, the bigger they get. Mm. A toy at school was mean to me. What did he do? Merry Christmas, Phoebe. I got you something you desperately need. Bernard. Who the f*** is Bernard? Wow. Because he told everyone my brother's rancid. Right, where does Bernard live? Roy? <laughs> Roy wants to go f*** up a kid. But your breath doesn't smell that bad. <sighs> oh, wow. Oi! She feels bad enough. I'm so sorry, I really tried. It cannot be that bad. I've spent the last 20 years in locker rooms with men. <laughs> I think you might be dying. Put your coats on. Where are we going? We're going to my stupid posh neighborhood and we're going to start knocking on doors. And if we don't find a dentist in 10 houses, you each get a thousand pounds. Let's go get our coats. Yeah. Miss Mom, why you can deliver presents to everyone in the world in one night? Smart kid. But it's not the whole world in one night. It's the whole world split up into 24 different time zones. Santa's true power is not his speed, but his endurance. Hmm. <laughs> My hey! boy. Hey! Yeah, he's Merry Christmas. Christmas. Aww. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for coming. Oh, it's fucking cute. I love this episode so much because they're showing these dudes that are away from home and how good it feels that they have some somewhere they can call, call home away from home. Um, I came to the U.S. alone in 2014 uh, for college. And yeah, them first couple of like Christmases and uh, holidays were they were pretty rough because um just in the dorm room by yourself uh it wasn't until i think year two that um started making some friends that were close enough and like i trusted well enough to go home with them for like thanksgiving or christmas and you know this vibe it feels good and kind of like Rojas just said like his mom or his parents are happy that he's spending Christmas with someone. Same feeling too with my uh, folks at home uh, being happy that I had family here or just, you know, people close to spend these breaks with. So I'm happy for Sam and uh, Danny that they have this. He smells like it has tequila in it. Yes, this one is pretty chic. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they're gonna have a full house tonight. Damn. What the f are you watching, Ted? This is depressing, bruh. Damn, this is getting dark. Aww. Bestie. FaceTime Christmas with Henry going? Well, I lost him to an overpriced guilt gift. Grab a coat, you're coming with me. Yes, yes you are. 
I love this man. The amount of times like Ted have come to her rescue. I love this. And the amount of times she's come to his rescue as well. So like this is just, I mean, she knew. She probably knew that he was going to be alone. Where are we going? Like, you know what? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. That's all right. I like her outfit. You look perfect, don't worry. Oh, oh. I gave you my heart. Mm. Every next day, you gave it away. From tears, I'll give it to someone's best. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, boss lady. <laughs> I guess that's what I get for taking a tinkle next to John Holmes. Mm. Hey, come on. Oi, Happy Christmas. <laughs> Right back at you, sir. <laughs> Did he just call you a wanker? Since episode one. <laughs> Since the first episode. <laughs> We're not gonna make it. What's with the music? Eight nerf! <laughs> <laughs> oh, FIFA? That's my shit right there. Who is she? <laughs> Kid, go to the other room. <laughs> what the f This is by far the most people we've ever had. Well, we all can sit down and eat it. On the floor. I love that because it's mostly the international players because, I mean, they don't have a home here. So I love that. Listening once again with candy canes. Aww. That's why she asked him to keep the hat, huh? Because he's going to be Santa. <laughs> Mom! There are two white people at the door and they're smiling. Yes, that's a realistic response right there. <laughs> it's two white people at the door and they're smiling. That is so real. That is so real. Can I help you? Good afternoon. We work for Santa Claus, and I believe he received this. My letter! Yes, we're terribly sorry that your presence didn't arrive last night, and to apologize for the delay. Am I forgetting anything? Thank you. You're so welcome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Aww. I love this episode. There's not a lot of plot happening, but we're just building with the characters. Hold on, I'll go fix my knee. Oh! oh. Are you a dentist? Yeah. Can we come in? <laughs> Spending Christmas at some random person's crib. Congratulations, Phoebe. That is some spectacularly bad breath. Have you been smoking? No. Hello? Antihistamines dry out the mouth, and when saliva production is reduced, then the environment for odor-producing bacteria thrives. And thrive it has. Time to say au revoir to Dauphine. No! Come on, Phoebe, you've only had her a month. But we're soulmate! Yo! Can I get an assy? Fine. <laughs> Not with you, mate. With Keely. <laughs> this dude. Cheers. Oh, Roy. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you what, that was pretty dang neat. <laughs> Thanks for letting me tag along. Oh, my pleasure. You know, I should have done it last year, but I just yeah. sat by myself instead, drinking and plotting horrible things. Oh, yeah, like what? You already know. I know all too well how stunningly shitty the first Christmas after you get divorced can be. Mm. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. You know, a lot better than I would have been if I just drank whiskey all day. Oh, you want me to drive? The steering wheel's on this side. Right, I'm gonna want the accent here. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> it's Carol Singers. Just give him a quid and tell him to bugger off. Shame on you. <laughs> yeah, I forgive you. Oh, I'm sorry, Phoebe. Wonderful role models. I just want to thank you all for coming to the family again. Yay! 
<laughs> You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> um, mm, to my lovely wife, Julie, my sons, <laughs> to you and all your families back in Lagos, Guadalajara, Cronigan, <laughs> Cordon. I know you would have preferred to have been with them, but it was truly an honor to have you with us to share our traditions and help make a few new ones. Yeah. To Richmond! <laughs> What's happening outside? Is that Ted? Ho, 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 Higginses! <laughs> Hey, Jessica about to sing her ass off. Hey. I mean, with everything you all have told me about Hannah's real life and her being a beautiful singer and performer, and how even in the let it go scene she had to bring down her <laughs> gorgeous voice <laughs> just so it seems like just a regular woman singing this with all that in mind this scene is just so much beautiful like hearing her sing overall is like she could really blow up those speakers if she wanted to but even like this is great to listen to <laughs> the kid finally got a dance with the model Santa Israel this feels like a finale I hope I didn't skip an episode <laughs> I'm thinking this episode probably aired during Christmas um cuz I know how shows tend to have like a Christmas special that's probably why nothing heavy with the there was no like big story bits in this one this is almost like a filler episode which i mean it was brilliant yeah this episode hit for me for sure ah no wonder the intro was different as well like cartoony christmas yeah this probably aired um during christmas Amazing episode still, man. Uh, I think one of my best parts was uh, Rebecca coming to rescue Ted from freaking drinking, feeling sad, and watching uh, reruns the whole night. And there was this beautiful moment when uh, she was mentioning why she haven't done the giving gifts things. And she almost started blaming Rupert, even though very valid. But she was just like, I could have done it last year. I read that as her starting to like get over that victim mindset. Not that she's not a victim. She's very much a victim of Rupert. But um, I, I think a better way to put that is like she started giving him less power over her even in the present and i love that a lot and of course like all the international players coming to hang out in higgins crib like that really hit home for me because yeah there were some days um during holidays that i was away from home and not having uh somewhere to like celebrate with that were like really difficult so seeing this was just beautiful and the whole thing with um <laughs> kaylee and roy um making sure little shorty was taken care of going house to house and teaching her how to like handle bullies and stuff like that freaking beautiful great episode the performance at the end was beautiful higgins giving a toast was beautiful this is a good one this is a good one let me know your thoughts on this episode i always love to hear what you guys have to say and with all that i will catch you in episode five